Hello and a good day. Welcome to the ACES channel where we review out of the box items that's for sale from us. Uh, some other goodies are also um, reviewed, but these are all out of the box videos that I am posting. Um, I'm not going into functionality and stuff like that. Maybe there'll be a later series, but for now, this is just a out of the box video series to see what you get when you buy this product. Easy to quickly have a look when you want to suggest a product to your customer or show to your customer what's available. There you go, without any further ado, today we'll be looking at a Kirisan product. It is a PT8000. The 8000 from Kirisan is a product that has, as you can see on the display there, a LED display, eight segment LED display. So it is limited to only eight channels. Uh, maybe nine channels. I doubt that it's more than that. Um, and in this case, there is a VHF and a UHF model available, as well as a mid-band, 66 to 88 megs, available for South Africa. I think Australia is the other country that uses mid-band, um, similar to us, but it is only a few countries in the world that actually use 66 to 88 this radio, this manufacturer makes one in that split as well. So let's have a look at this. This, in this case, is a UHF radio. You will see that it is 438 to 490. Um, it is a CASA type approved for use in South Africa <coughs> and is rated at 25 watt. Um, the VHF is similar, it is 136 to 174 split. And Yes, so let's have a look at this when we open it. Inside the box, we have nice um, foam inside. Um, I like this, the radio stays protected when on transport, um, knowing that you get an a intact product when you buy it. Um, very long cable, I can see that this is a very long cable, decent um, decent rating cable um, with a two fuses in both lines and yes and soldered um, to, um, ends so they cut them off soldered them for us um, and I do like this the fact that they've got two fuses I don't like that it is glass fuses but that's just my preference um, there you go what we have next is the microphone and similar to most of the guys um, it has it has a Kirisan their brand on it you can feel a certain click I do like that you know that you're actually clicking a button on the inside no other keys on the radio itself it is branded as a km30 uh, similar to the kenwood is which is a kmc30 um, and it has a steel um, mic hook at the back which is good because you can attach certain functions programmable to the radio um, by just putting it on the the mic hook itself i know that this cord is replaceable it has the standard um, RJ type connector on it um, and if you pull this off you'll see that the cable is replaceable so the RJ cable the cable is replaceable by just getting something in there and taking it out so the cable you can easily replace in the future um, a function which lots of other manufacturers don't have so there you go back on seems to be weatherproof um, to some degree nice and long microphone there you go i like that let's look at the supplied accessories here i like the mic hook it's a decent mic hook not the fork shape um, which is flimsy this is a definite lock in it if it's in there and you're riding a rough terrain this will not just jump off 
um, yeah, with uh, two supplied screws in there and also some installation materials that you can use to install the bracket with and for um, screws for mounting the radio onto the bracket. Let's have a look at the radio itself. Um, what we can find is there is the mounting bracket for mounting it inside a vehicle. It is quite heavy, so it is a, a very tough bracket. Um, and what do we have in here? There's some additional fuses and also some installation screws. Um, I did mention this on another video that the manufacturers seem to forget that you need battery terminals with these devices. Um, on one of the devices I reviewed there was actually the local agent took uh, and put in two lugs as part of the package. I do like that. The fact that this comes without that, I don't like that. There's lots of the manufacturers don't like you cutting into their wires. Um, thus, maybe onto the battery is the safest you can do. But without lugs, the day when you do the installation, yeah, it is difficult. So there you go. Let's have a look at the radio. On the back, you have a PL259 RF connector, which is fairly common. Uh, you also have the um, speaker output there with a polarized connector you can't get it in wrong with another fuser so they've got two fuses in line with the power cable and then one before the radio as well wow these guys really do want to protect the equipment okay which is a good sign um, often with second hand radios we find that the connector has been cut off and that is wired just directly into that this helps us keep a fuse at least one in line what we see front mounted speaker which i do like i can feel the radio is fairly heavy um, i've reviewed some other small little radios which is nice and compact um, but once again this is heavy um, it is a sturdy um, very heavy designed radio um, yeah nice volume control where you've got your um, your on and off switch is not mounted, is not there. It has an on off switch there, which you have to keep on to switch it on. Uh, yeah, it has the LED display, seven segment LED display with scan and low power indication. It has three function buttons you can program. And obviously you have an up and a down uh, channel selector with, I think, a PDT a little light uh, which may illuminate uh, green when it receives something as well front facing speaker as mentioned before i like this when built into a dashboard uh, this is good um, the sound is not muffled or anything so thus requiring an external speaker is very limited um, for this type of radio yeah on the back you can also see um, most of the chassis is is manufactured so that it looks like a heat sink for dissipating the heat um, i would expect this radio to do work quite well uh, for long periods of time um, there you can see what the number is the ta number what the model number is and yes um, the whole the whole radio basically is a heat sink i do like this um, Yes, there you go. That was my review of the PT8000 VHF in this case, but VHF, UHF as well as mid-band uh, radios from Kirisan. Um, it is it is quite heavy, um, probably because there's so much metal in it uh, for the heating. Um, you will not fit this easily in between two car seats. Um, or underneath a dash with double-sided tape like some of the small other devices Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to get the updates um, Ring the bell so you can hear when new videos are released um, Make sure you comment. I like to see your comments um, positive comments of course <laughs> and um, Yeah, any other products which you feel we should look at let me know and I will try my best if you are a manufacturer and you want me to review some of your stuff 
you are welcome. If you have any requests, send them to me. Maybe later on we can have a look at a series of the functionality of some of these devices. But yes, for now, I think this is just an out-of-box series, which I'm going to do, but which could grow into something else. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.